Hello everyone, hope you're all doing okay today. I want to talk about Halo mods. Uh, if you look on my channel, you can see some pretty badly recorded and terrible attempts at some old Halo 1 PC mods. And I can see now the Master Chief Collection has made its way onto the PC. And there are still people modding, which is great to see. Uh, a lot of people making a lot of cool mods, but not a lot of people explaining how to make the mods which uh, as someone that's trying to get back into it myself that can be quite frustrating so I've been playing around with a mod tool called assembly which I'll get into in a second and uh, I've discovered some things that hopefully will help you guys start modding Halo yourselves and make something pretty cool down the line uh, so assembly I'll leave a link to that in the description is the most popular mod tool around at the minute you can use it to mod every uh, Halo version in the Halo Master Chief Collection and uh, we're going to use that to mess around with Halo 3 map Sierra 117 today. So, uh, first of all, we need to open up Halo itself. And you need to open Halo in its anti-cheat mode. And that can be done uh, depending on the version that you're on by clicking the start menu, typing in MCC, and you can see MCC anti disabled is there. Now I'm using the Xbox Game Pass version, so that's how I would do it. If you're using the Steam version, you would just launch the game like normal and you'll be given an option to choose uh, normal Halo or anti cheat Halo. So I've already got Halo open. If we resume the mission, we're in Sierra 117 and I'm going to look at the pistol. So I actually really hated the pistol in Halo 3. Compared to Halo 1's, it's slow, sluggish, there isn't a scope on it. Um, pretty boring. So I want to make this a little bit more fun. I want to make it automatic, make it fire a lot faster, maybe fire some brute shots, and then maybe make it look a little bit cooler when it is firing, change the firing effect at the end of the gun there. So let's tab back into assembly, and we're going to open the map. Now, to open the map, you click Open Content File, you navigate to your computer, whatever drive you installed it to, Program Files, Modifiable Windows Apps, Halo MCC, Halo 3, and Maps. And you can see a lot of different maps, but not a lot of very familiar names, they're all named a bit weird. So if we go back into Assembly, click Help and Map Names, there's actually a list here of the names of the files in relation to their mission in the game. So we can see here that Sierra 117, that is called 010 underscore jungle in the map folder. So let's go back to the start page, open up again, and click on 010 underscore jungle. And we get this page. So next thing, now the map is open, we want to click on the tabs at the top there. And we can see a big list of all the aspects of the level that we can change. So we're looking at the pistol today. So we're gonna find the weapon tab and that's just down here and that lists every weapon in the game, stuff that the vehicles use, stuff that the enemies use, stuff that you use. And we're looking at the pistol. So that's called Magnum in the list. And if we click Magnum, we'll get all the different aspects of the gun that we can change. So we wanna change how this fires first of all. So we're going to use the search thing at the top and we're going to search for new oops, new triggers like that. There's only one menu option in here called new triggers and that will skip us straight down to it here. So first thing we want to do is make this fire uh, automatic. So holding down the mouse and it will just fire by itself. Uh, that can be done under the behavior tab. That means firing behavior and you can see it's currently set as latch and latch just means single shot uh, you press the mouse button once and hold it in it won't fire again until you press that button so if we drop the menu down there's a lot of different options here for the different kinds of guns in the game we want spew which means automatic and that's exactly the same as what the assault rifle is so you know spewing out bullets and we want to put that into the game now and we can do that by poking it in now you can see there is a save option next to poke uh, saving will permanently save whatever changes you make in the map and if you do that while the game is open uh, it will most likely break so what the poke feature does is it temporarily changes the files so when you leave the level it will just revert back to how it was and you won't permanently damage anything that you do so we're going to poke that change in you can see down the bottom here in the status bar it's been poked in 
will go back, and if I hold down the mouse button now, that's firing by itself. Um, it's not really special though, it just looks like I'm you know, pressing the mouse over and over again. So we want that to fire faster and be a bit more reminiscent of the assault rifle's way of shooting the bullets. So let's tab back into assembly and we can do that by just scrolling down the list here into the firing section. So if you search anything, just press the little X in the search bar and that will stop it being greyed out. And the rate of fire there is dictated by this fire recovery time and soft recovery fraction. And this just tells you how long the gun takes between shots to shoot another bullet. So at the minute it's 0 0.4 seconds, which is pretty slow. So if you look at the assault rifle in a different tab, it will say these two are set to zero. So if we change them to zero, poke it in, go back into the game, hold down the trigger this time. You can see that just unloads the clip pretty much the same level as the assault rifle. A lot more fun to fire, but now we have the problem of it eating up ammo pretty quickly and we don't have a lot to begin with. So we want to make this have unlimited ammo. And to do that, if we tap back into assembly, we can look straight back into this same firing section and we're looking at rounds per shot and that just means how many rounds will be taken out of the magazine when you shoot the gun. At the minute it's one, so change to zero and that should be taking no bullets out of the magazine. Let's give that a go. And as you can see, perfect. We have unlimited ammo, unlimited clip size, and pretty fun pistol. But we can make it more fun. We want to make this shoot brute shots. So if I pause the game and go back in, we're going to use the search tab at the top again, and we're going to search the word projectile. And if we keep clicking next, it will go through every instance of the word projectile in it. And we want to get under this projectile tab here, initial projectile right there. Let's just close down that X button there, bring it a bit more into view. And this dictates what projectile comes out the gun when you shoot it. So if we drop that down and we find the uh, brute shot grenade, which I'm sure is right underneath, there we go, brute shot grenade, poke that in, head back into the game. We can see it now shoots brute shots. A lot more fun, but one thing about the brute shots that I noticed is if we try and shoot into the caves over there, you can see they don't quite make it, they just explode midair, and that's no good if we want to shoot someone really far away. So we want to change the range of the brute shot projectile. So we can do that again by going into assembly. We'll close the weapon tab now and find the projectile tab instead, which is a little bit further up. There we go, projectile, and we're looking for brute shot grenade right here. And not a lot in the list, so we don't need to search for it, but if we scroll down, we are just looking for this projectile tab and then maximum range, and this is obviously how far it will go before it explodes or just disappears, depending on the ammo type. I'm just going to boost that to 100. That's way more than double, so it should be fine. Poked it in. Let's head back in to Halo. And as we can see, they just last until they hit a wall, and that is pretty much perfect. Um, there's one more thing we can change to make it a little bit more fun, and that is the effect of the pistol firing. So if we have a look at the end of the gun, we've just got a uh, little explosion from the end there, which is for the pistol, but let's say I wanted it to look like the needler when it fires. If we tab back out, and we head back into the magnum tab, which it should keep it open at the top if you tab back out, but remember if you doesn't do that, just find it again in weapon, and then magnum, right there. And if we just go a little bit further down under this initial projectile tab, we can see in the firing effects tab what we're looking for here. And at the minute, the effect that comes out the end of the gun is the magnum firing. Now if we press the drop down arrow, it actually gives us every single effect in the level and that's a lot and it's going to take us a while to find needler in there so what we can do is hit the search button and this will search the entire tag dictated on the left there so if we search for needler 
we can see all the needler effects and we want needler firing like that. So if I press OK, poke that in, head back into the game, we can see it now looks and sounds like the needler when it fires, but it's shooting brood shots that last forever at rapid fire and unlimited ammo. And this pretty much is what I wanted to do with the pistol. So let's find some enemies and see just what this thing can do. Okay, we've made it to our first batch of enemies in the mission. So we'll just unleash on this brew over there. And there we go. That's him gone. And let's see how the grunts react to it. Just as I wanted, they go flying. <laughs> the brutes are alive though. Not for long. And there we go. That is a basic introduction to modding how the guns behave in Halo MCC. Uh, if there's any more ideas of mods you want to do, let me know. I will be making some more videos very soon. Um, any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.